Hello, I am Professor Stephen Abbott. My free ebook, Sir Fact and Science Principles and Practice, is linked to a large series of apps on my Practical Surfactants website. In this video, we use the apps to look at dynamic surface tension. For many of our processes, we're not interested in the surface tension at long times, which is what our normal probes measure, but the dynamic surface tension, what happens in the brief periods when we're creating a new surface. And to understand dynamic surface tension, we typically have plots of surface tension with time. Because these are generally just pure surfactant in pure water, these aren't of great interest to many of the cases, for example, with oil and water. But it's fiendishly difficult to measure values with oil and water, so these are as good as it gets. This plot is a typical curve. It's plotted using the Rosen formula. And those who are academically interested tend to be interested in what's happening here in this plateau, what's happening in this other plateau. But if you plot it in real time rather than log time, you'll see that most dynamic surface tension curves are just pretty boring like this. And we want most of the action to have taken place very quickly. So these log plots are highly deceptive. You can sometimes see them plotted in terms of surface pressure, which is just the inverse of surface tension. In practice, you would fit this curve to, say, the Rosen formula. So you might have to say that it's 1.4 instead of 0.4. That shifts the thing. n might be 2. That changes the shape of the curve. But if you get into the habit of having these DSC curves and their Rosen formulae, you can relate them to quite a few other factors, which is described in the app. But you want to choose the best surfactant for your dynamic surface tension issues, and this app allows you to do it. We have the isotherm plot, so as I change the CMC, that changes this plot here, and here is the plot with time, like the Rosen curve. Let's do it linear, so again we show that the CMC plot is usually pretty boring, and there's some interesting stuff happening in linear time. What controls it? Well, the surface excess that we mentioned, which comes from the isotherm plots, the diffusion coefficient, so a big lumbering surfactant molecule with a small diffusion coefficient is less good than a small, really nimble one with a high diffusion coefficient, and A, which is the inverse of the K value we used from the isotherm, which affects how much of the surfactant comes to the surface and therefore the dynamic surface tension properties and the minimum surface tension. This is a complicated app, but the point of these videos is to show you that these resources are here and they enable you to explore how to really come up with the best surfactant. And in fact, for my world of coating science, the best surfactants tend to be the acetylenic surfactants and these just have a very high CMC, which means you can throw in a relatively large amount and still have quite a strong effect. It's as simple as that.